Yeah, law match engineer. So this is kind of like a management. You can create your own max and assign them to missions and stuff. Like there's like all kinds of parts to the max, like the reactor that you need to assemble and then put into the mech and then weapons, batteries and like there is a lot. You can't just learn this game in five minutes. Like you need to like play like full tutorial. So this is a demo. Bullet Maiden. So this is a turn based game like with this anime girl characters. Um the UI is not the best, it's like a uh, newly made and also like the helpers and everything um, looks like unfinished but like the game works so this is a demo playing kafka so this is pointed click kind of like a story rich there's a lots of text and you need to respond i assume like there's like these mini puzzles uh later so you just drag your character around to interact with the environment and there is English, but uh, for me the default language was not English. So this is free. Top Wizard 2. So this is kind of like Survivor, but um, you can point your wizard where to go, or if you don't, he just automatically walks in this uh, arena. And then there is like waves of enemies. Um, if you fail the wave, you get like a small amount of like a bonus and and resources and then you just uh, keep upgrading um spells and stuff like there's a lots of things to upgrade and um you try to progress further and further so first you have one spell then on wave two you unlock two spells and the third spell is on wave seven so yeah this is free to play crashlands 2 so this is uh, open world survival craft and it's locked in this like a two and a half D view. S you can go around and interact with uh, like units in this like a quest keyword like that there's lots of text. Uh, these yellow things are like a plants that you need to loot to, to eat for like a food to refresh your health. There's, this is like a crafting station, you can craft your house and you need to craft a weapon and uh, like with weapon you can um, destroy and collect resources or kill the enemies and as you do quests you unlock more stuff. So this is a demo. The king is watching so you have like a um, few tiles so it's like 16 tiles I believe. Oh yeah it is like this. And then you have this like a square first like you have a um, view of three squares and you can like upgrade this like a view like how much squares are active like wherever you point those active squares is like those um squares are active and are producing resources so first you start, start with like this like a small uh, like a three sided like a uh, squares three squares that are active and then as you upgrade you you can get even more and then you need to produce resources, build your army, defend your castle, and then the more um, nights you survive, you get like a resources for the main menu. And in the main menu, you can um, increase like a passive abilities for the next run. So like a faster speed, more health for the units and stuff like that. This is a demo. Neural shock. So this is a tower defense. It's kind of like simple it's locked in these two the view so you have a tower that you can build you can probably also build a blockade and then you have like your um unit like a character that you can also place and you can upgrade them after each wave you get a uh, like a cash resources and there's multiple levels there's like multiple waves in each level this is a demo Mirror escape. So this is tabletop RPG. So you need to create your own adventure. You need external account. And I don't think you're able to play this game. Like you can create a level, put like a dungeon, like stuff, rooms and uh, characters, but I wasn't able to start the game. But 
have is also not like locking um like picking how to start the game but i saw in tutorial that you need to invite someone in order to start so yeah i guess like how would you even play this tabletop game a lot right so this is free to play but there's like a lot of stuff that you need to buy like all there's like lots of um these tiles that are like kind of pay gated but um yeah eerie excavation so you're supposed to go into mine you have um pickaxe and a light and so you're supposed to pick up the key okay i didn't pick up the key i just opened this like box and then you and the mine and then you need to collect the resources and then to bring bring the resources back to this guy and there's like a apparently monsters trying to steal away your resources so this is a demo and not yet the last song so this game is not well optimized or like at least it, after i started the game it didn't let me bring up the menu and change the settings so maybe you should do that first before you start the game and it's a fighting game it maybe if you can lower down the settings or like if it was more optimized like it's decent it's souls like um you fight the enemies you can dodge and parry and like there's boss fights the first boss fight is not hard unless you're playing like 10 fps then it's it's challenging um but reg regardless of that the game looks decent i just don't know the performance like maybe it was like all on epic um yeah you have stability spells weapons and stuff to do yeah so this is a demo tale of the sinking peaks so in this game you have this um character and you have a dog and you need to go to the checkpoint with both characters with the character and the dog and then dog can jump higher or like dog can jump on your character and um both of them can push the blocks so your character can like use a pickaxe to like get stuck on these tiles and then you need to use their like abilities um to pass the levels to like to reach the checkpoints further and further so this is free and those are all free to play games demos for today links to the steam store page for all these games are in the description and also gameplays without commentary okay see ya